Welcome to the magical Maasai Mara here in Kenya. My name is Brent Deer Smith and I have sex zone keys on camera. Isn't this exciting? We're taking all our wonderful schools on a live safari from two different places. Now, I can't wait to hear all your questions, but I think this is especially for the little boys out there today. I got something so cool. I have to show it with you because I know you're all going to love it. Now, it is a traditional Maasai sword. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Now, this is completely handmade and very, very sharp, but it's so I can chop off branches that get in my way, uh, of course. But isn't that very, very, very cool? So, a traditional Maasai sword, and the sheath here is made out of cow skin, and it has been stained red with ochre. So, ochre is a rock and if you ground it up it's quite chalky and it was what's traditionally used to paint the um, people's faces or the outside of their houses and it's a very very important color in Maasai culture and you will see a lot of their stuff is red and, uh, and if we have a look since I'm gonna put it over here so it's a little bit easier for you now if we have a look carefully at the handle now, the handle, you can see there's even still a bit of hair on there. Now, this is made out of goat or sheep skin, and it is tightly wound around a piece of wood. And this takes a really long time to do. And this is not an easy thing to make. So it's not like a knife you buy in a shop that's normally made by a, a machine. This has been made uh, with by hand. And I got it from my good friend, who's a Maasai who works at Angama, named John. I also got Jamie one. So we both now have swords. I do feel like I'm seven again. But I know this is for the boys. They thought it'd be very cool. Girls, I will find something beautiful to show you shortly. Now we do have some zebra out on the open plain next to us. 